Hi everyone, it's a bagger. Uh, tonight's going to be a short video. Um, there really wasn't much of a day. It um, it was low volume, and it was to the upside. Pretty easy to do um, in a low volume environment. Um, the market is as well is squeezing north tonight, and uh, very well may continue overnight and continue into uh, tomorrow. And of course, um, you know, then starting tomorrow night, we'll see if we got any fireworks. We will. Um, be broadcasting live um, to you guys on our um, um, Zoom Zoom meeting for our annual members, but we'll also be broadcasting live through YouTube, and we're going to do that as a little awareness piece. And we'll probably uh, be broadcasting the Swing Machine and see how Swing Machine handles the volatility. We'll also um, probably load up the um, ESZ contract and maybe even the NQ in a um, on a uh, point and figure strategy to have that run and so we get something to uh, see and watch that'll be the idea probably only just have a few markets but um, and otherwise we're going to sit back um, relax enjoy the evening and in um, and the next uh, 24 to 48 hours it's a beautiful thing right I'm a big uh, big fan of history big fan of uh, the whole political process and um, you know keep everything calm, keep everything in perspective. Um, I don't, you know, I don't have a gloom or doom on either side. Um, you know, these are just politicians and it is important um, for for everybody, but um, we'll see how it plays out. That's all. I was, you know, country's been through a whole hell of a lot and seems to always um, do the right thing, whatever that is. So I'm optimistic. Nicholas, when we look at Nicholas, he's still short. So going into the election, he is short and he is long the VIX. I think it's a little bit long in the tooth. And um, if you back out some of these other numbers, he's probably up about um, 16 to 17 grand. Well off of his high of about 28 or 30,000. Let's take a look at the VIX structure. The VIX futures contract is risk off, been risk off for four days. It's moderate. It's trending up. The, uh, the spot fix, you know, really jumped up here in the last 6 to 12 days. And notice here this one, um, you know, we're actually going out though, this is not really a first, but the 90 day and 6 month. So I really hope it isn't a 90 day or a 6 month outcome here. That wouldn't be good. But it is moderate, it is trending up. And um, let's look at the, uh, the internals. The S&P cash is short. The advancers got on top a little bit here tonight. Decline is down. Uh, FedEx is still in a dip, added some points. The yields still, you know, um, elevated in here on the on the distant curve. And you can see the skew. Skew doesn't reflect today, but as of um, Friday, up here at uh, 133. So it's elevated. They started uh, on Friday, started to sell some calls, started to buy some puts, and that would be normal. Nothing, nothing outrageous though. And um, I don't think there's really going to be much else to really look at. Um, we can look at the intraday and the 60 minutes, 17 hours ago goes long. The NQ is still in a short from 96 hours. It's ripping against that short. The Russell is long 16 hours ago. The VIX went short 21 hours ago. What do they know, right? What do they know? And anything? And the YEM long 18 hours ago. Technically speaking, I think the market is poised for a bounce. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see if it finds a reason to do that. Let's just take a real quick look. We're not going to go through everything here. Um, who was the big one today? Uh, Metler, Toledo, Align. So we had some big, big moves here in some of these stocks. Um, how about down Amazon booking charter CMG PayPal I think had earnings let's do the same thing we're cutting it brief here tonight um, Tesla Netflix Google Glam Research iSurge and there you have it not a whole lot let's go to the traditional chart and here we sit very very dangerous very dangerous um, this situation have here, this is signaling that this is a false low. 
It just is, you know. Most people might look at that and say it's going to break and continue down. I don't. I'm seeing here on the percent B, this has been a pretty good indicator that that signal right there, yesterday's low, Friday's low, should have been bought. And I think this is going to rally on whatever it happens. That's the way the market is set up. So that'll be interesting to see. But that's what that is telling us. Let's look at um, the SPX and look at what we have here. Remember this guy? This is such a beautiful chart. This is, you know, I grew up, I gr literally grew up on point and figure. I love Rinko's because um, they give you this little, this little trend. Remember we were coming off of here, we broke down, we said we'd get down in here. Look what we do, we come right down to here. Isn't that amazing? Um, at 32.36, and we give a little bounce and now we're up into here. And we take this out, we're going to go right back up to the other side, folks. We're going to keep on going. And... The Pebble Beach, the Out of Bounds, you know, there's really no need to go there tonight. Um, we're kind of in a holding pattern. So we're going to keep it brief. Let everybody just kind of kick back, relax. Um, hope, hopefully you've already early voted. Hopefully you can get out there tomorrow, get in, get out, get it done. Um, I hope your guy comes in. <laughs> and um, and I hope the, um, the cities uh, don't get hurt. It's not fair to the other uh, business people. I hope they don't. And um, and then we can get all this behind us and get on, get on with it. Government get on with their job, jobs. Let us get on with our lives, and um, get back to work and and um, get on the mend. So we will see. We will be here tomorrow, of course, and then on um, tomorrow night, uh, probably starting right around six o'clock, we're uh, gonna fire up swing machine and stop broadcasting and you know I'm gonna be here I'll be in and out but I'm not gonna do any kind of um, you know I'm not gonna I just I like to um, election night for me is like you know maybe for someone else like the World Series or baseball game game seven Super Bowl that sort of thing for me I, I just love to um, I just always have it's funny isn't it um, so I like to just enjoy it Good night, good luck, and um, we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. That seven-minute video message was on November 2nd, the night before the election. On November 3rd, November 3rd at 5 p.m., before the voting had counted, or had uh, before the voting had stopped. In fact, the voting hasn't stopped, but <laughs> before it was supposed to stop, Nicholas, in fact, went short the VIX and did, in fact, go long the markets. Here's the call. These are the prices that it went long. If you had, today is November 13th. If you had placed one VIX contract short, you'd be up 6550 One mini Russell contract. 6,635. One Dow contract, 10,135. One long mini contract on the NASDAQ, 13,605. And one mini contract on the ES long on November 3rd, 10,987.50. Your real-time profit tonight, November 13th, would be $47,912.50. The truth of the matter is, it was higher earlier this week. I think Wednesday or Thursday, this number hit a high watermark of almost $70,000. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, we did a YouTube video and sharing with you what Nicholas had done year to date and over the last rolling 12 months. One mini contract on every signal that Nicholas has generated this year before these profits, before these profits have been counted, he had done $400,000 year to date two weeks ago. On a rolling 12 months, he had done some 450,000. Nicholas is back tested. 
going back 15 to 20 years. His performance has been stellar. Does it mean he's going to make money next week, next month, next year? You never know. It's a model. It's a strategy. And we manage our monies and our trades based around that model. And he's doing a great job. I'm Bagadon at StockMarketCaddy.com. If you want to get a video view of all the markets and all of our proprietary indicators sent to your computer every night, Sunday through Thursday, feel free to sign up at StockMarketCaddy.com for 100 bucks a month, $99.95. If you want this tool, plus all the other tools, now totaling well over 50 proprietary indicators and strategies and radars, well over 50, you can join for our level two membership. The call is up to you. If you want to speak to me, I'm Don Marshall. The phone number is 813-758-8263. We do not advertise. We do not spam anybody. We do not do, you know, blast emails. We don't do displays at the Tampa Boat Show or the Orlando Money Show or any of that. We only want real people that have a real serious passion for the markets and want to trade the markets for fun and hopefully profit. We make no claims whatsoever that you can or will make money. We have many members that are doing much better than us. We are a mentoring site. We do not make specific recommendations to buy or sell anything. To that extent, we are a place where like-minded individuals can gather and benefit from mechanical trading systems to augment what you may already be doing and making it that much better. Learning to trade your game, not mine, your game. I do not come from the financial industry. I am not a broker. I am not a financial advisor. We do not want to manage your money. We just want to be able to share with you, for the person that's interested, how we approach the markets in hopes that it might help and augment what you already know. 813-758-8263. Thanks.